Hey YouTube, this is Ryan from Movies with Ryan and we're here to look at my Criterion Collection. The sale just ended at the beginning of this month. I've got all my stuff together finally and I figured I'd make a little video to show off what I have. So let's get started and see what we got. Alright, we're going to start my collection off with spine number two and that would be Akira Kurosawa's Seven Samurai. A must own. This is probably his definitive film, his best film. Can't top it. A lot of movies have been based on this. Uh, this thing is loaded as well with special features. If it focuses, there we go. Moving on, spines number 14, 15, and 16. This is the Samurai Trilogy. And this includes Mushashi Miyamoto, Duel at Gichi Joji Temple, and Duel at Ganryu Island. You're going to see a theme with my Criterions. I love my samurai movies and stuff like that. This is two disc set. has all three movies on it. And the special features. Spine number 47. Insomnia. Now this is the Norwegian, or Swedish, I'm not exactly sure. It's got Stellan Skarsgård playing a Swedish detective investigating a crime in a small village. There was an American version of this uh, that starred Robin Williams and Al Pacino. Very good movie. Um, equally with the American version as well. I think they both were done very well. Okay. Spine number 65. And that will be Wes Anderson's Rushmore. Probably my favorite Wes Anderson film. Um, I do have all of his that are available on Criterion, as you will see. And uh, very interesting, very stylistic director, I would say. But definitely, definitely has great movies. Special features. Moving on to spine number 90. Now this is Masaki Kobayashi, and that is Koidan. I have not watched this yet, I just picked this up in the last cell. I'm very for looking forward to it. I uh, heard a lot of good things, I heard this is a must own. There's your special features. Another Akira Kurosawa film, spine number 116, The Hidden Fortress. Very very good movie. If you not watched any Akira Kurosawa, I highly recommend it. The Criterion Collection transfers are great. These movies are great. The extras are great. Of course, the special features. Spine number 138. Akira Kurosawa's Rashomon. Now, this is based on... Uh, a play I believe of course I can't think of it right now but this is another one of his great movies you cannot go wrong with this man again special features my second favorite in spy number 157 Wes Anderson's The Royal Tenenbaums a lot of people don't like this movie it's just I like Wes Anderson he's weird I like weird and quirky things you see him loaded with special features. I can't wait for his new movie to come out, The French Dispatch. It looks really good. Again, spine number 190, Akira Kurosawa's Throne of Blood. Now this is based, I believe, on Hamlet, if I remember correctly. Either way. Good movie. I just uh, actually watched this for the first time about two weeks ago. Very well done. And of course, this actor here is in uh, almost every one of Akira's movies up until the early 80s, I believe it, Toshiro Misfune. Very good. Conveys a lot of emotion with his eyes. It's very intense. Spy number 221. Another movie I just recently watched. Akiru by Akira Kurosawa. Now, this is about a man, he works for the government, finds out he's going to die, hasn't really lived life, 
So he decides to. He just ups and leaves work. Nobody knows what happens to him. Very, very nice story. There's all the special features. Spine number 248. Uh, recently decided to get into Cronenberg. Um, I love the fly, uh, the Jeff Goldblum version. Um, hadn't really seen much else by him. I'm not really a big horror guy either, but this is Videodrome. And I love how they did the VHS tape on this. This packaging is really cool. That's another thing you can't go wrong with Criterion is their packaging. But I'm excited to check this out. I haven't really broken into my Cronenberg stuff yet. So, as you can see, all the special features. Again, spine number 267. Kagemusha, another Akira Kurosawa. I haven't watched this one yet. Um, I've been slowly making it through my criterions. If you follow me on Instagram, Movies at Ryan, I do post what I am watching, and I'm also on Letterboxd under Movies with Ryan. Um, this is probably going to be coming up here in the next week or so. I'm going to watch this. Can't wait. Again, all the special features. Love criterions for that. All right, spelling number 280. Another movie. Again, you'll see the theme. That will be The Sword of Doom. Uh, I have not watched this yet. I uh, need to watch it because I've heard this movie is great. Now, this one's a little lacking on the bonus features, though. It's got a few, but it's highly recommended, so I'm going to watch it. Now, the next one I haven't watched either, and I'll explain why in one second. Spy number 302, and that is Harakari. Now, um, I do own the Takashi Miike version of this, which is basically a shot for shot. Not completely shot for shot, but almost remake of this exact same movie. So I just haven't dived into this one yet, just for the simple fact I've already seen it. But um, can't wait to watch it. I'll get around to it one day. Like most collectors, we have a bunch of movies we've never watched. We'll get around to them. And then there's the special features. Now this is an absolute classic. I don't think uh, anybody would disagree with that. Spine number 336, Dazed and Confused. Of course with the cool slit, pull it out, shows all the main actors in there. Love this movie. Uh, I remember watching it when I was younger and I really didn't care for it, but then as the years have went on, it's really, really grown on me. I just love this packaging too, it's great. Spine number 426, The Ice Storm. Now, I had never actually heard of this movie, um, and I seen it on a recommendation during Ken from Mid-Level Media's uh, Criterion setup he had right before the sale on his suggestions and what he was going to get. Seen it in my store for the first time, so I decided to pick it up. It's got a great cast, uh, Sigourney Weaver, uh, who else is there? Christina Ricci, Toby McGuire, Elijah Wood, Katie Holmes. It's about family during an ice storm in Connecticut. Uh, there's a lot of dynamics to it. Very well paced, very well acted. I highly recommend this movie. Blind by it all. The ice storm. Now, spine number 450. Wes Anderson's. First film, and probably a lot of people's least favorite Wes Anderson. I like it. Luke and Owen Wilson are great in it. It hasn't defined Wes Anderson style yet. It's very different. Highly recommend it, though. If you haven't seen it, you got to watch it. It's Wes Anderson. And it's kind of hard to catch here. Kind of plain. You can't really see either. There we go. Not actually a whole lot on the back there. Spine number 536 is next. The Thin Red Line. If you have not watched The Thin Red Line, it's probably one of the best war movies out there. Um, I mean, I would put it up against Saving Private Ryan almost any day. 
Um, great story, great action, great acting. Can't beat it. My glare is getting all over that. There we go. Again, spine number 536 by Terrence Malick, too. If you haven't seen any Terrence Malick films, great place to start. Now, a movie I picked up with this last sale that uh, a lot of people have recommended, and I've heard it's just batshit insane, and I uh, can't wait to watch it. It's 1977's House, and that is spine number 539. I finally actually watched the trailer for this the other night, because uh, I was deciding on what I was going to watch, and I really didn't think my girlfriend was going to like watching this while I had it on, so I decided not to. I may end up watching this weekend. But definitely, house, my phone. Now, spine number 540. Hated this movie when I first watched it. Wes Anderson's The Darjeeling Limited. I just didn't get it. I, I think I was just not in the mood, maybe. And of course, you know, some people just have to be in the mood to watch it. Watched it again probably about two years ago. Uh seen a whole new light in it. The the words, the acting, the dialogue, I guess dialogue words, same thing, was just great. And I just didn't pick up on that the first time. Rewatch, love it. It's probably four or number five on my list. Another blind buy that I just purchased in this last uh, sale, and I'm glad I did because I just watched this two weekends ago, 562. And that is Brian De Palma's Blowout with John Travolta. If you have not watched this movie, very, very good. He is a sound man that catches an assassination, basically, of a uh, governor, I think he was. And he ends up rescuing a girl that was in the car that wasn't supposed to be there. And the story just kind of takes off from there. And it's just very interesting how it's done. It's very well paced. And uh, who is it in there? It's got Nancy Allen from Carrie. Oh, and I can't think of his name. Anyway, the protagonist in this, well, I wouldn't say protagonist, but he is the protagonist, is creepy in this. And he's not usually a creepy actor. But highly recommend Blowout. There's all the special features. I'm going to feel bad because I don't remember his name. John Lithgow. There we go. And then, spine number 596. Again, Love My Samurai. Three Outlaw Samurai. Uh, this movie is very, very good. Hideo Gosha does a very good uh, movie here. Very good plot. A lot of good action. Can't go wrong with that. Spine number 611. Being John Malkovich, great movie. If you've never seen this, it's a head trip. Uh, is it John Cusack that's in here? Yes, John Cusack. Man, I'm bad with names. I'm sorry. Uh, John Cusack's in here, of course, John Malkovich. Charlie Kaufman is just a genius when it comes to writing movies, I think, and directing them and making them. This is probably his best. Uh, my second favorite is Adaptation. If you haven't seen Adaptation, highly recommend that as well. There's all the special features. Now, a movie I haven't seen in a long time, spine number 654, Repo Man. I bought it simply for this cover. Uh, this art on this thing is just so nice. Stands out. I love the lime green on the black. But uh, I remember liking this when I seen it a long time ago. Uh, Emilio Estevez, you can't go wrong with him. I mean, it's, you know, Emilio Estevez. Spine number 700. Wes Anderson's Fantastic Mr. Fox. Uh, I'm not too big on his animated stuff. Uh, of course, it's this and the Isle of Dogs. I think I prefer Isle of Dogs a little bit more than this, but they don't have Isle on Criterion, just this. Hopefully one day they will. Next, another Cronenberg, spine number 712, Scanners. 
Again, uh, beefing up my Cronenberg collection. Everybody knows this from the famous head exploding scene. After that, which I think it's in the, like the first 15 or 20 minutes of the movie, the movie just kind of floats along. Not really the greatest movie in the world, but it's Cronenberg. So I figured I'd pick it up. There's the more special features. David Lynch. Another director that's just kind of out there with his movie making and his movie style. It's by number 725, and that is Eraserhead. I have not watched this yet. I've been kind of saving it because I know this is just a weird movie. So, hopefully it's good. I've heard it's a trip. There's one of those special features if it'll pick it up. Spine number 764. The Fisher King. I have not seen this. Um, I've kind of been going back and watching a lot of Robin Williams stuff. He was just never an actor I watched a lot as a kid. He hit his peak like right when I was hitting an age where I wasn't interested in the movies he was making. Then I've went back and of course One Hour Photo, uh, Insomnia, uh, Patch Adams, Awakenings, a couple other movies, really good. So I picked this up because it's Terry Gilliam, first off. Uh, it's got Jeff Bridges in it as well, which is a great actor. So I can't wait to actually watch that one. Spine number 776. Moonrise Kingdom, another Wes Anderson movie. This movie, I think, is probably my third or fourth favorite. Just the cast in it's great. It's shot beautifully. The location was just very, very gorgeous. And I've just noticed a lot of his Wes Anderson ones don't have a whole lot of special features on them. Again, spine number 779. I have not watched this yet because I have heard up and down things about this. I've heard it's a mind twister. I've heard you got to really invest time in it. You've got to watch it twice. But that is David Lynch's Mulholland Drive. My copy doesn't want to come out. Anyway, we'll just get that. So hopefully I get the, I think it's two hours, 146 minutes. So yeah, two hours and 26 minutes long. I'll find the time to watch it one day. Spine number 790 and 791. The Lady Snowblood Collection. Lady Snowblood, Snowblood and Lady Snowblood Love Song of Vengeance. If you haven't seen the Lady Snowblood, very, very good movies. If you want to watch a samurai movie where a woman kicks ass, I highly recommend this. Special features. Spine number 821. Dr. Strange Love, or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb. I watched this once when I was like 10 or 12 years old. It is a trip. I think I've already said that about another movie, but I'll say it again. Stanley Kubrick, can't go wrong with it. He's a great director. I'm going to have to rewatch this again. It's been a while. A movie I actually just watched last night. Spine number 822. Clouds of Sils Maria. Okay. This movie was kind of weird. It's got Kristen Stewart in it, and it was touted as probably her best performance. Of course, it also has Chloe Grace Moretz and Juliette Binoche, which has been in a ton of stuff. Um, and I will agree, it was Kristen Stewart's best acting. I never watched the Twilight movies. Uh, I did like her in Personal Shopper, and I did like her in American Altar. She was her typical Kristen Stewart. But um, this movie's just kind of weird. It's she is a assistant, a handler to the main character, played by Juliet, and it's basically they're remaking a play that she was famous for X amount of years earlier, and uh, Chloe Grace Moret is playing a character that's going to be playing her, so it's like a remake of a play of a play in a movie with a weird story to go along with it. It did score high, like I gave it a three and a half out of five, uh, but the scenery, it's shot in Switzerland, I believe, 
in Cloud Sil or Sils Maria, and it is gorgeous. This film looks beautiful. It flows real well. The story is very good. It's just kind of different. Moving on, Spine Number Eight Twenty Five. Movie I have not watched yet. Um, a Touch of Zen. Uh, this and a movie that will be coming up here in a little bit kind of go together and I just haven't watched them. I haven't had time to watch them back to back yet. But I can't wait to watch that. Those are special features. Coen Brothers. Love them. I don't think they've made a bad movie. There might be one. Uh, intolerable, cruel, intolerable Cruelty maybe. Uh, this is going to be spine number 834. And that is Blood Simple. This is a great movie. Uh, Francis McDermott does great in it. If you've never seen this, I would go out and buy it. I would pay full price for this. I wouldn't even wait for it to go sell. Or I'd go on Amazon and buy it for $27.99. But this movie is great. Highly recommend. All right, we're getting back into it. 842. Akira Kurosawa's Sawa's Dreams. This is a, an unfolding and series of eight mythic, mythic vignettes. This is the late work by Akira, inspired by the blood director's own nightmare visions, along with stories from Japanese folklore. I have not watched this yet. I picked it up because it's Akira Kurosawa, and I'm trying to watch all of his movies. And uh, this just really sounded interesting. If anybody's got any insight on that, let me know. One of my favorite... 843, spine number, Adam Sandler, performances before Uncut Gems, and I don't think a lot of people talk about this movie, Punch Drunk Love. This and Rain Over Me, um, I don't think can be touched by Uncut Gems, hot take, probably going to get roasted for that, probably not because nobody watches my videos, let's see if anybody does, but uh, this story is just great, uh, very good movie. Emily Watson does great. Of course, it's a Paul Thomas Anderson movie. Uh, I, a lot of people, I would say, you have to kind of be in the mindset to watch his movies, but I really love them. Bunch of good bonus features on there. A movie I bought blind because I did not know it existed. Um, it is Spine Number 872, a Terry's Wig Off film. And that is Ghost World. Now, this is Thor Birch. Uh, I think she was in Hocus Pocus. Scarlett Johansson and Steve Buscemi. This movie is good. Not, not bad. It is good. If you've not seen this movie, go out and watch it. Uh, I think it's one of Scarlett Johansson's first roles. roles. Um, could be wrong. It's 2001. I don't remember when Eight Legged Freaks came out, but it's close. But the story in this is good. The acting is good. The dialogue is good. Steve Ashimi is Steve Ashimi. Can't beat this movie. Ah, glare. There we go. Stanley Kubrick again. Spine number 897. A movie I haven't, again, taken time to watch because it is 185 minutes long. Barry Lyndon. I've heard this is actually, I've heard this from multiple people, that this is his best movie. I haven't watched it yet. I want to get around to it, because if they say it's the best movie, I want to watch it. A ton of special features on this one. Spine number 909, which surprised me, because I thought the spine number on this was a lot, lot lower which it could have been from previous releases, but I, I don't remember how Criterion does their spines. But this is a must own, must own, I think, in anybody's collection. And that is the beautiful Night of the Living Dead. Of course, I mean, what can I say about this movie that has not been said before? It is the definitive zombie movie. Gotta have it in your collection. Uh, spine number 920, Sofia Coppola's very first movie, The Virgin Suicides. I have not watched this yet. Um, I th am thinking I may have watched it when uh, I was younger. It did come out in 1999, 
may have seen it on TV, I'm not sure, but can't wait to check this out. I know Sophia is kind of controversial, controversial in some rings, especially with the Godfather 3 snafu. Now this is the other movie I was talking about, spine number 937, that goes with Touches In, and that is the Dragon Inn. Again, love my martial arts. You know what? I'm going to take it back. This is probably my favorite Wes Anderson movie. Spine number 1025, The Grand Budapest Hotel. This movie is gorgeous. The color tones that he uses, the actors are great, the dialogue is great, everything. Even this is just beautiful. If you ever want to refer a person to Wes Anderson, I would definitely probably start him off with this. This movie is just, it's great. Now the next spine, 1038, my favorite movie probably of 2019. And it is the movie that made me fall in love with Adam Driver. And that is The Marriage Story. Uh, since then I've picked up several of those things. Um, Probably my second favorite thing is Patterson, which I have the steelbook of if you watch my steelbook video. But Scarlett and his acting in this is amazing. And this movie will make you cry. It'll make you angry. It'll make you understand things. It'll make you hate things. I highly recommend this movie. Even if you only watch it once, because I understand why people would only watch it once. Highly recommend it. And a movie, spine number 1057, that I was so surprised, yet so happy, got a Criterion release because my DVD was about wore out. And that would be Ghost Dog, The Way of the Samurai, uh, by Jim Jarmusch. If you have not watched this movie, Forrest Whitaker is a hitman that lives his life by the code of the samurai. This movie's just chill. If that's even still used today. But it's good. There's not a whole lot of dialogue in it. It's about a man that lives his life a certain way. And it's very good. I highly recommend this movie. And to round out my regular copies, a movie I have not watched yet because I don't have the, uh, yeah, 209 minutes long. I haven't had the time to watch it, and that's going to be spine number 1058. That is The Irishman. Of course, it is uh, Scorsese. The man knows how to do his gangster movies. And I've heard a lot of people say that this is his, like, prima donna, the, the pinnacle, the masterpiece of his gangster movies. I'll watch it one day. We'll find out. Now moving on, I've got one, two, three, four, five box sets. And these will be the last of it. My first, spine number 1036. See, I changed up my numbering. The Bruce Lee box set. Now this comes with, let's see, The Big Boss, Fist of Fury, The Way of the Dragon, and The Game of Death, and Enter the Dragon. I believe that is all that's on there. Yes. Five movies. I was so happy when this came out. I have a, a definitive, nice Bruce Lee set. There we go. Uh, of course, Bruce Lee gone way too soon. Uh, the man did a lot for Asian American or just Asian actors. Period in America, his martial arts were insane. Um, and he was a good actor, surprisingly. Moving on, my next one, spines number 52 and 53, Kira Kurosawa's Yojimbo and Sinjuro. Now, if you've not seen, if you've seen Seven Samurai and you have not watched these, you need to watch these. Uh, Yojimbo is the first one, Sanjuro is the follow-up. I'm going to go out on a limb and say Sanjuro is actually better than Yojimbo, even though Yojimbo is fantastic. 
highly recommend this set. Uh, you can pick them up individually, but I got lucky. Got the nice little box set here. Ton of special features, ton of everything in these. All right, my next one. Let's go to spelling number 857, 858, 859. The Before Trilogy. Uh, before Sunrise, Before Sunset, Before Midnight. I have not watched this yet. I've been sitting on this box set now for about three years. It was actually my very first Criterion Cell buy. Uh, love Ethan Hawke. Uh, love stuff by Richard Linklater. Just haven't watched it because I really want to sit down and watch all three of these at the same time. And I've heard great things about this. I've heard it's probably like one of the best trilogies you can watch. One day I'll get around, around to watching it. Spine number 841. Based on a manga, Lone Wolf and Cub. If you don't know what this is about, it's about a ronin a samurai that is pushing around a baby carriage. Lone Wolf and Cub. Has it all in here. But the samurai has the baby carriage rigged up to do all sorts of stuff. And this is the definitive collection of this. There is a movie, Shogun Assassin, that is basically the butchered American version of this, where they've taken stuff from all the different, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six different movies, kind of smashed it into one. And the movies are Sword of Vengeance, Baby Cart in the River Sticks, Baby Cart to Hades, Baby Cart in Peril, Baby Cart in the Land of Demons, and White Heaven and Hell. Highly recommend this set. And it's fairly inexpensive for what you get, even not on sale. But it's a must-own for anybody that loves any kind of martial arts. Samurai. Now this is probably my prize possession in my Criterion set. Um, I looked for it forever. It never came back in stock. They said it was out of print. And, excuse me, ended up picking it up for a very good price. Spine number 679, and that is Zautachi, the complete series. Now, uh, Zautachi is the blind swordsman, and uh, it's been portrayed by a few different people. It's got a beautiful book, as you can see. Each movie has all the different, or each page has all the different stuff. Uh, the Blind Swordsman is a great series. Uh, I think there's 16 or 18 movies. I'm not actually remembering exactly what there is. Let's see, we're up to 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 18, 21. Wow, there's a lot more in here than I thought. 24. And 25. Okay, there is 25 movies in this set. I didn't realize it was that much. I thought it was 18 or so. But I haven't dove into these yet. I have watched the uh, Zaltachi movie with Takashi Kitano, which was a later kind of adaptation movie to this. But I cannot wait to break into this set, which it's going to be... A very, very long month watching these. But again, Zeltachi. Love this box set. That concludes my Criterion Collection. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Please give it a like if you did. And if you're not subscribed to me, please do. Um, hopefully you'll have a good night. And until I see you again, goodbye.